Okay, this is Rocky Hall. I'm in Bismarck at the state capitol. We're at the protest site. And cops in riot gear. Really? Seriously? And it looks like they brought him in on a bus. But yeah, they're all riot gear. Uh, like the little short one. Look at the little short one. Not a very good skirmish line we got here because nobody's watching their backs. They've all got their faces towards the crowd and nobody's watching their backs. Full riot gear, seriously? For this crowd right here, guys. North Dakota's taxpayers at work. There's your tax dollars. <laughs> Got all these officers in riot gear. And kids, cops in riot gear. Right on, girl. The court hearing was today. We're in Bismarck, North Dakota. We're at the state capitol, and uh, it does uh, look like we lost the court case, but it's not over. The fight is not over. We're not done. We are not done. I, 
I kind of wonder why we have the riot gear here, you know, why we have the, so many cops. I mean, what are we going to do? Seriously, this has been a totally 100% peaceful protest since the very beginning. So I don't know what their deal is. And strategically, these guys are, I don't know, I hope they're getting paid well. Well, I'm trying to upload to Facebook to get some videos or pictures out, and uh, that's not working. So hopefully it'll go through. Uh, still trying, but uh, so far we've got several hundred people here. We just got here today. Our car broke down. Actually, kids, families, all walks of life. Donations are nice people coming to get Oregon Solidarity, No Dapple. I like this right here. Where are you keeping that up there? Yeah, um, like it's sort of near Red Warrior. If you've ever been on that side, where there's like gate, there's gate. Everybody, come on, man! My name is Joanne Spotted Bear, and I am from Wounded Knee. I want to see these police right here. We're at a federal court hearing. We are federal Indians, and the state of North Dakota has a charter number. They have no treaty and the United States went bankrupt in 1933. That means that the United States does not have a federal writ. Yeah. There is no federal tribe to give the United States a federal writ. And when they went bankrupt in 1933, 12 years before the original United Nations went up in Geneva, Switzerland, they gave all the documents over. So technically, I want to know why we're standing here and not inside because that is a public building and we are on federal lands in a federal area. So what is the reason why we're standing here? Mm -hmm. Does anybody know why? Our land. Other, other than going to jail, what's the real reason? And why are they trying to, what's the charge going to be? Mm -hmm. Standing up for water? Trespassing on our own land? Could be. <laughs> But, but it's our land, so what's what's another charge? So I, I wanna I wanna address um, on on Facebook, um, Ambassador Shahi Amin Kahan, Ambassador Malik, uh, and all the world ambassadors who know Joanne Spotted Bear. There's over nine thousand of you. There is uh, well over two hundred tribes at the Standing Rock area. These police officers right here are not federal employees. Oh, state cops. They are state cops. And we cannot go into the federal courthouse, and therefore I can't tell you if it's a federal courthouse or a state courthouse that is withholding evidence right now. This is illegal. In a public building, whether it's state or federal, we have a right to go in and to see what kind of decisions they're making for the great Tetuan Nation. The Fort Laramie Treaty 1851 bypassed the Congress 
and went into the chronicle list of international treaties where one judge cannot, cannot make decisions for the, the Lakota, Nakota, Dakota, known as the great Tetuan Nation without addressing the whole entire world. Mm -hmm. So what I want to know is why are those cops there? And why are we here standing here? Mm -hmm. Let's go to jail. Yeah. No, no, we're not going to go to jail. There's a better way. They said no going to jail, so we're not going to go to jail. Okay, I'm sorry. The elders said, and we have to respect them, and, and, I, res and I respect the grandmothers. So what we're going to do is we need to file charges on the judge who made sure that we cannot hear what's in the public building because that is treason of treaties. That is a federal offense, and that is a death sentence. Treason. Treason. Mm -hmm. So we need to come together like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and everybody needs to get their treaties. Another one. Treaties are supreme law of the land and they're for sale at the Library of Congress in Washington. Hi, I told on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did you say, 30 bucks? Ha, ha, they're anywhere from 100 to 300 dollars. Oh, 100 to 300 dollars yeah. oh, we can buy a thing. treaty. You can buy the video in that building and the voice, the voice recording and the video and the, um, the docket, those are anywhere from $30 to $500 depending on how long the court case is. So we need to find that out so we can go back and, and it's called a uh, uh, rebuttal. Okay? So we're going to respect the elders. And we are not going to go to jail. No jail. No and jail. we are going to find out what we need to get done. Because this is not okay. This is not okay for me to sit here and watch oh. our people wondering what's going on. Oh, 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 yeah, please. So I'm going to go over here and ask them if they understand treaties. And if I go to jail, just... I'll bail you out. No, you get a hold of the world ambassadors and the world leaders and tell them that a... A Native American Indian from um, Wounded Knee just went to jail. And I, I do have a dignitary card in my car. I give you permission to go in my pants and pull out my wallet. It has my UN identity card in there. So let that see where that takes them. So I'll be right back. Okay, she's going to go ask them some questions and we're going to film this. This could get interesting. This could get interesting. I'm live. Roxy. Oh, are you? Yep. Well, Rocky Hall says hi. Rocky says hi. Do we have a chief of police? Who's the sergeant? Who's the sergeant? You got to have a commanding officer. Do we have one? He's coming. He's in the hat right there. Oh, see him okay. walking? Nope, maybe not. Okay, do does any of you guys need hearing aids? <laughs> oh, I mean, good, hey, good. Thank yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Joanne Spotted Bear. Hi. I'm actually from Wounded Knee. They said we couldn't cross that, but well, you see, I did. Okay, um, let's go back over there. All right. Well, if you cross this side, can I arrest you? Yeah. <laughs> How about we make it mutual? Okay. All right. Stand right there. Come on. You this put your foot there. Yeah, and I'll put my foot here. All right. All right. There, there we go. go. All right. Seriously, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, okay. Guys. Um, my name is Joanne Spotted Bear, and you are. I'm Luke. Luke Henderson. Dan Hogan. Dan Hogan. Thank you, guys. Yes. Thank you, guys. Um. I'm going to speak in my own language first, okay? okay? That way we can have a good, good relationship. Awesome. Tokaya Tinkashila Wopila Waku Lebia Chamatomia Hemia Chukwe Opumatua. My dear relatives, we always thank the Creator first, you know? And we thank Him for everything. Um, my, my Indian Lakota name is Bear Woman. My English name is Joanne Spotted Bear. And uh, I'm originally from Wounded Knee. You know that Cowboys and Indians okay. thing? <laughs> okay, we're not uh, here to play Cowboys and Indians. We're here to uh, 
Uh, that's a public building, Come on, right? Dude. Yes. Okay, and this is the public? Yes. Okay, um, I'm glad you said that. So here we go. We didn't come here to create animosity. We came here to find out what was said in the building without stirring up any trouble. And all of the relatives, they know that. They've been told before leaving the cap. And we have no problem with none of your, your, uh, your co-workers because what they're saying is water is life. And as far as you know, and the women that talk to you, 85% of our bodies are water, right? And if the water is contaminated, what happens? Are you guys going to drink it? I'm not. I mean, honestly, I won't drink it. I'll buy water. But eventually, the bottled water will run out too, right? Okay. So, <clears throat> um, that, that's a good point right there. But the next point is, um, did you guys realize that the 1851 Fort Laramie Treaty bypassed Congress and made it to the Chronicle List of International Treaties Worldwide? Are you aware of that? United okay, Nations. now, you just witnessed on cameras that <clears throat> you did not know about the Chronicle List of International Treaties. Come on, yes, come, come on, come on. Just, just let us Don't cross the line. Let her Maybe talk. <laughs> The situation. Um, <clears throat> okay, so um, did you uh, also realize that the Great Lakota Nation is accepted by the United Nations in New York and Geneva, Switzerland? No? Okay, I, I am a dignitary at the United Nations level. I'm also respected by our people and our grandmothers to speak to any one of the the state, uh, local, state, and federal governments. Come on, you guys, let's let's be respectful, please. Um, and uh, in the U.S. Constitution, did you guys take an oath? You did. In that oath, what did it say? If I may ask. Support and defend the Constitution. Right, right, right. I took an oath too. I, I became a law advocate and at the United Nations we had to take an oath to solemnly swear to protect the Constitution. Right? Okay, so all of us are on that level. That's good. In the United States Constitution, Article 6, Clause 2, what does it say? You don't know? It says, Article 6, Clause 2 says that treaties are supreme law of the land. It's the Supremacy Clause. Do you have an understanding what the Supremacy Clause means? Any, any clue? Okay. <clears throat> the Supremacy Clause to the law of the land is that you will respect indigenous peoples. The, the, the original people. Well, we're, well, you know, Indians are always radical in some kind of way and have to break a line, our law. <laughs> the line. But yet, our laws and our lands were broken, and today our, our water rights are at stake. And it's not just ours, it's yours, it's yours too. It's your water. It's all of our water. Our water. And all we want to know is the decision because technically, one judge cannot make a ruling on the Fort Laramie Treaty 1851 because he's talking about a chronicle list of international treaties worldwide. And then what I'm going to do if I find out that that one judge made one decision on the chronicle list of international treaties, I'm going to see to it that on federal court, I'm going to have all the UN ambassadors come in and then I'm going to pull the charter to the state of North Dakota. And then I'm going to pull your guys' charter too, okay? Because it's only fair. You respect us, and we respect you. And in, in, in respecting, that is a public, public building where we should be able to hear, and there should be no animosity. Are we not allowed in the building? No. Nobody. Okay. Nobody's allowed in the building. members of the protest are, this, is, this is the protest area. We're protectors. Area. We're yes. not protesters. Okay. This yes. is the protest area that's been assigned. If you're part of the protest, this is where you're allowed to be today. But we're not a protester. Right. We're not or I'm not a protester. Can I go in no, there? You're, you're part of the group here today. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm you you need to stay here. You've given me an identity. So not our protest as any protest. That because it's already permitted, they have a permit okay, to we've already, we, Okay, yeah. here's the thing, folks. We've already told you what the boundaries are. And they're There's doing no their job the also. Building. 
Okay, we're, we're just trying to gain an understanding as to why a lot yeah. of us a lot of us just pulled up. We don't necessarily know what is going on. You know what I mean? We just see a line. I'll tell you right, guys. Our job today here is just to make sure everything goes as smoothly as it possibly can go. That's our job too. That's our job here today. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to sit here and have a debate about. The elders asked for no jail. It's the judge that no one goes to jail. The elders. The judge that ruled isn't even in North Dakota. Why are you guys armed? And to my understanding, that happened out in Washington. Okay. Okay. That's my understanding. I mean, nothing happened to here in this building today. Okay. All right. So that that makes so, that clear. Okay. So, so so there would really be no reason to go in here because there's really nobody in there that you could visit with, you could talk with, anything like that. Okay. okay. So so um, so technically, in reality, our problems are not here. No. Our in problems Washington. in Washington. They've always been in Washington. But okay. this can still be addressed because this isn't legal also. This is, this is state. not okay. Yeah, this is a, it's a public it's building. building. Right, but there's no courts or nothing right. in there. Yes. That's what they're saying. Yeah. There's no courts. They say that they applied for a permit to protest here. So during the hours of the permit that was allotted, there's nobody going into the building. Uh -huh. After that, before 3 o'clock, we probably could have went in. After 6 o'clock, we could probably go in. So, There's nobody going in. Okay, right? well, how about the city meeting? Where's the city meeting? Are just not Indian people. No, there, there's no, if you have normal business within the facility, yeah. you can, you can capital, certainly go the in. There. Is the capital is open. The capital is open. I mean, so if you have. Any so if I just want to go there, look from the top, can I go? Uh, if, if you go in and you. Yeah, if you want to go up, but. Uh, yeah, you can try. I said anybody that's uh, involved with the protest here, this is the area that's been been given to do that uh, in, a, in a lawful, peaceful manner, and, and that's where hoping takes place. Well, so again, I'm, a, if you have I'm some... a lawful, peaceful person. Can I go in there? To handle your business, you can. I'm a business person. I can walk around. Let me have a business. As long as you're not breaking fire code. You can go into the state capitol where people pay taxes. To pay well, for our people, you know, well, I pay First Amendment rights again, totally being stopped. You have some business in there. There's a paperwork process. There's a paperwork it, process. <laughs> um, so I got a question. Let's say I want to know whose name's on the Dakota <laughs> Access Pipeline and who signed the paper. Can I find out in there? For what, though? For the Dakota Access Pipeline. Can I find out whose names are on the document? I don't know if that document's in uh, well, you can go in and ask. Yeah, can I? Yes. Okay. But then you, I'll can I go that way. You gotta take the sidewalk. Well, I could take the sidewalk. Right? But, but, but I can't walk on the sidewalk because I got. You, you, got can't you can't take a large group in there. Right? Nobody's saying okay. you can't. Nobody's saying you cannot go into the Capitol. If you have official business okay. going to the Capitol, That's nobody's That's saying you can't go in. So she can go in. Just a couple of people, probably. I don't think you'll find any. We won't find any of that. You asked the group. Uh, they say, there's, they there's say no yes, federal court, there's can. no federal courthouse okay. here. Ask the, the federal courthouse is downtown where any of the documents, if you want to group. see them, yeah, probably Group, I have a question for the group. Um, I'm with Camp of the Sacred Stone. I'm live streaming now. Do I have your permission to, to go with Joanne into the Capitol to live stream this? No, to we're taking the, the protest in the Capitol. No, no. We just, there's three. Single he, person. Her one person. and then one more. That's it. No more. Have one of these guys send you all the stuff that they just recorded. I'm saying that It's open for normal business. It's open for normal business. Please get behind the line. That's what the is here. Stay on the line. So, all my friends out there. Totally illegal. Absolutely 100% illegal. illegal. Illegal borders. It's almost like Donald Trump's here. We can go to the state capitol. The dancers are coming. We're forming a human chain. Circle, circle, circle of life here. All the way around. This is a hundred man chain of people going on here. This is incredible. Oh, the guys who with the right gear should break this up. This is terrible. Look at these people. They got smiles on their faces. A lady just gave me a food. She baked 300 of these. And it was a godsend because we have not ate today. <laughs> we got up first thing just busy. Look at this chain. Look at this chain.
I gotta walk this chain, this is incredible. Frightening as hell. She's gonna drop that baby right here. Dapple baby. This is awesome. Look at this chain of people. And then they're circling back and shaking hands. And it goes all the way around the park. Hundreds. Hundreds of people. Whew, that girl pregnant. Was, she didn't drop any minute. And circling back, circling back. This is beautiful. This is what it's about, people. Oops, I'm not supposed to film that. Shit. Oh. Uh, I am broken. I am broken. This is incredible. Hundreds of people holding hands, going in circles, shaking hands, kissing babies. Got him dancing. In front of the state capitol. Well, this is history, guys. I don't know how much you're gonna wanna watch here, fast forward, whatever, but this is history. Hope we make a difference.